Let's bring in Stephen Park, who was a security officer for the royal family during the 1980s. Steve, thank you for your time. Philip never really liked that much fuss. How did he handle having personal security? Uh, he was an ex-Navy man. He wanted to know everything. He was one step ahead of you all the time. Um, he, if he didn't like what he was seeing or the planning and preparation that went into delivering him somewhere for an event, uh, he would soon tell you. He was the kind of person uh, that would just say, go away, I don't want you here anymore. But of course, that, that was um, for you to be diplomatic with. You couldn't leave. Um, you just had to disappear into thin air, but be there for him uh, when and if he needed you. Um, I prefer uh, to work for somebody like that. You know where you you know where you stand. He was a complete professional, and uh, he knew exactly what our job was. He just stayed one step ahead of us. It was very, very difficult if you were with him for the first time, um, because he would know that straight away, and he would play about with you. Um, that's the kind of person he was. Um, but I, I personally, fantastic person. Steve, I understand you worked quite closely with Diana. What did you see of Philip's relationship with Harry and William? Well, I, in terms of where Prince Philip stood, uh, he was always a good sounding block. That's why he'll be so sorely missed. He's the person that everybody went to to get the, um, to get the right answers, to get confirmation that what they were doing uh, was, was correct or, or just advice and guidance. And I think that you see two boys at the moment that are completely split, completely different. I remember William and a, a, as a little boy uh, looking after him. And, and obviously the guidance he's been given, one would say it, it's, it's worked. Uh, for Harry, well, there is still some way to go. We don't know what the end uh, result of that is. Not, personally, I don't particularly want to comment on that. One hopes they get back together. Supportive to Diana, to a T. Um, they had a good relationship. Um, Prince Philip had uh, good banter. He knew uh, a good joke, as did Diana. Both had the same attitudes of trying to escape their close protection officers on a regular basis. Um, just getting in a car and driving off. Um, they both had that ilk about them. Yes, we hear they were both sort of the outsiders of the Royals and got along quite well. Thank you so much for your time tonight, Stephen Park.